You are listening to a recording from the 2021 Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair. We would like to take a moment to thank the residency programs who have taken the time to present at our fair this year. This year's Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by Pumanar Recap, the best resource for your physiatry clinical preparation, audition rotations, board preparation, and beyond. Pumanar Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and even oral board cases. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. All right, good evening, you guys. We're gonna share our screen here real quick. Okay. Oh, I guess not. All right, so I am Christy, this is Quan. We're both PGY4s and the chief residents for the University of Miami Jackson Memorial Hospital Physical Medicine and Rehab Program. <laughs> so we're happy to meet you guys and we'll get started. So we'll talk about our hospitals that we rotate with. Uh, it's very diverse in different environments. So part of the rotations are at U Health uh, Medical System. We also rotate at Jackson Health System as well as the VA system and Mount Sinai. So a little bit about Jackson. Uh, Jackson's the third largest uh, public hospital. We're the second largest transplant center and a major uh, trauma center as well. Uh, the University of Miami Health System uh, is a private hospital and we uh, have our exposure there with consoles. Um, some of the places that we train in, in terms of pain management and interventions that we get to do are at the Lennar Center as well as the uh, CRB, the Clinical Research Building as well. And then right across from our rehab building is the Miami VA system. This is uh, a place where we serve the, the greater uh, veterans affair. Um, here we do a lot of procedures, um, neurotoxins. Uh, we do our EMG clinics here. The patients are very, very thankful. Uh, and then as you're familiar about South Beach and as well as the Miami uh, lifestyle and area, one of the hospitals is Mount Sinai. Uh, that we get to rotate through. It's a beautiful drive. You have uh, suites that overlook the beaches. Uh, it's one of the perks of working down here in Miami. One of our favorite rotations. <laughs> Definitely our favorite rotation. By far. Um, so the majority of the places that we work at is within a few minutes of walking time. So uh, where you see the heart uh, symbol, that's our Lynn Rehab Center. Uh, you can walk straight across and you can see it actually from the building. That's the VA. Uh, a brief walk down uh, is the University of Miami Health uh, System. And then this is the major campus where we work at and the procedures or the pain clinic that we do, uh, it's symbolized by uh, the green book arrow there. So everything's within walking distance. Um, so this is uh, the notes uh, the other rotation that we're talking about, which is the Mount Sinai uh, rotation, where it's a short drive uh, from the hospital or from where we live, which is in Miami area. And you, as you can see, it's, it's on an island. It's, it's through a, a bridge and it's gorgeous there. And then the main campus is a little more south. That's the main UM campus where the Lennar Center is. And we do a couple of rotations, uh, clinics and procedures there. So uh, the circles denote where some of our residents live. Uh, the majority live in downtown or Brickell area. Some will live uh, further south in Coconut Grove. Um, others will live in Wynwood, and some are out west in the round. So there was a study that shows where residents go and live. Miami is a major metropolitan area, and this compared to other major metropolitan area, the cost of living in terms of housing is actually on the lower side versus other areas. So just to get into a little more detail of our program and the leadership, um, our department chairman is Dr. Gator. He's been with us for a couple of years and has really um, been the spearhead for a lot of the change in our program, a lot of very positive change and growth. Um, Dr. Price is our program director. Dr. Molinaris is our associate program director and Carita Davis is our program manager. If any of you have been working with us or doing rotations through us. I'm sure you've uh, interacted a lot with Caritha Davis, who is a gem of the program. 
so in terms of our, our size, I guess, our residency size, we have 24 residents, eight per class, which was a recent increase over the last couple of years. Uh, we have several fellows at any given time. Um, we have space for two SCI fellows, one TBI fellow, and one cancer rehab fellow. And the idea is to grow our fellowships a little bit further as well. Um, we have several, obviously, faculty attendings. But what's very key to know is that we have fellowship trained board certified um, physicians in every major subspecialty of uh, PMNR. So spinal cord, TBI, electrodiagnosis, sports medicine, pain, pediatrics, cancer, neuro rehab, like you name it, we got it. <laughs> so our brand new facility opened up about a year and a half ago now, right at the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> Um, we this wrote, is a, wrote a paper about that too. Yes, yeah. we did. Um, so this is a state of the art kind of standalone rehab center, but it is within our main uh, medical campus. So all the hospitals are walking distance and attached. So you get that experience of kind of a standalone center with all the perks and positives. But if patients need a higher level of care or they need to be followed by um, other specialists, we are attached to the main hospital. These are just some pictures of the new facility, our gyms, um, the outpatient and inpatient gyms. It's a beautiful new kind of center that we're really proud of. Um, lots of stuff that came with the new building. I'm not gonna read, you know, read out all the different things, but basically it's a currently 72 inpatient bed, but able to expand to 80 inpatient bed facility. Um, we have Lots of uh, patients, we increased in size significantly. Um, it, there's all kinds of activity areas, outdoors uh, with a basketball court and um, barbecue. There's a meditation space. We have all these uh, interesting kind of mobility things, including the uh, car for transfers and kitchen simulated like airplane seats and aquatic center, which is really cool. They do like adaptive uh, activities there. And there's just lots of growth um, coming in the future. So this is our uh, schedule, essentially, where we are right now for our program. PGY 2, 3, and 4 year gives you kind of a wide variety of exposure in all the subspecialties, uh, obviously, all the amount of time you need on each service. PGY 2 year is probably your more inpatient heavy year, as you can see, for inpatient with a consult service. That's always with the PGY 4 senior on the consult service. So, you know, the PGY 2 is never alone there. Um, but you do get outpatient exposure in your PGY 2 year as well. So you get to do procedures kind of from the get go. And then your inpatient uh, responsibilities kind of diminish a little bit as you uh, progress through the years. Uh, our calls and night flow, this was a pretty significant change done a few years ago, um, changing from a home call to an in-house night float system, which has been super beneficial for the residents and our wellness. Um, you have a, I don't know, like four to five weeks, four weeks, I guess, of night flow, um, and you have no daytime responsibilities during that rotation. Um, our call schedules, pretty manageable. PGY2 takes the brunt of the call with about 18 total calls and holidays. And as you progress, you take less and less call. PGY3 has just two Fridays of call and PGY4 has no weekend calls. And this is just a picture of our call room. We have two call rooms uh, with a TV, computer, all uh, the amenities. Kind of looks like a hotel. Um, in terms of our didactics and education, we have a lot of protective time, specifically Friday mornings are our academic half day. This is just a list of kind of all the different um, things we talk about throughout the year. Our educational schedule is an 18 month rotation of lectures. So you see each lecture or each theme twice throughout your residency. Uh, we have a lot of supplemental discussions and activities, including a research course through the University of Miami and the Miami Project, which is one of our big research groups here in Lynn Rehab. Um, we do case presentations, uh, morbidity and mortality conferences, journal clubs, grand rounds. Um, we also do a weekly Cucurillo board review course with the Cucurillo book that's resident run. And then we have uh, semi-annual mock oral exams as well as some OSCEs for stuff you'll see in a couple of slides. 
So we have several interdisciplinary conferences. Like I discussed, the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis is kind of our big research group here at Lynn. Um, and they do a lot of conferences, as well as we have opportunities to be involved in the neurosurgery grand rounds, ortho grand rounds, and pain conferences that happen throughout our Jackson system. Um, we have a mo monthly ultrasound course that Quan is actually one of the directors of, I guess, this year. Uh, which involves didactic sessions and then practical sessions, uh, pretty resident driven, but there's attendings that are present during the practical sessions to kind of help guide the residents through the imaging. So there's a couple pictures of us in the ultrasound course. We also have access to the ultrasound machine kind of at any time of the day, so you can use it to practice on the fly. We also have an interventional spine course which is similarly uh, designed with didactic sessions and then practical sessions. So here's a couple of pictures of us practicing different injections and kind of being a little silly with Dr. Price up there, our program director, <laughs> and also our pain, one of our pain specialists. Um, all these courses you are involved in from PGY two years. So you're getting hands-on practice from an early start uh, in both. So at our residency, we're very big on research and we are very well represented at conferences. Um, the majority of our residents do perform research, uh, submit posters or have manuscripts that are um, in print. Additionally, we are very big on leadership role. Our past uh, seniors have been president of AAPMNR Fit Council. Um, some of us serve on other leadership councils such as CIR, which is one of the unions that we have in South Florida, myself being included. Um, and we're very involved with medical students at the University of Miami Middle School of Medicine. We love teaching. We love spending time. Uh, this picture is one of the courses that we taught in terms of ultrasound um, lectures, as well as uh, we also work with the medical students to volunteer at local uh, clinics. Community engagement is something that we are very big on, especially to serve the South Florida community. We have a diverse range of uh, patient population as well as different social economic uh, population. So there's an uh, ample amount of volunteer opportunities, one of which is uh, working with uh, students or uh, young uh, elementary grade uh, students, bring them in, teaching them about human anatomy, science, and math. We also do a large amount of helping our patient population, spinal cord and traumatic brain injury. One of the initiatives that we started here was something called a hurricane preparedness uh, kit. So we provided hurricane uh, equipments to our patients with SEI or TBI. So we launched that initiative last year and now it's been expanded onto other departments, uh, emergency medicine, internal medicine, pediatric. So what starts in this department actually expands all throughout. Uh, that has a greater benefit onto the uh, community. We also do a lot of sports coverage, which is ridiculously awesome. We get to work with the Miami Heat Wheels, which is uh, the National Basketball Association that's associated with the Miami Heat. We also do the Dolphin Cycling Challenge. Uh, we get to cover the Waterpalooza, which is a CrossFit, one of the largest CrossFit event. We work with the World uh, Sailing Regatta, which is a World Cup uh, series uh, sailing. We get to be on the water and actually provide coverage. So a lot of activities. Um, just to talk about some of the program benefits, we are very well compensated. But one of the reasons why is we are represented by a union here. Uh, we are the only hospital uh, in Florida to have a union that protects us as well as to advocate for us. And a lot of our residents are actually very well involved in that union. You get four weeks of vacation uh, a year. Uh, you also get something called Wellness Day, which means you get one day that you can uh, use towards anything you want. And uh, it's classified as wellness. We also have interview days and education days. And we are, we are very well funded to attend conferences where you don't have to actually pay out of pocket uh, to attend these conferences. Uh, this is what I was referring to. Uh, the Committee of Interns and Residents is a union that represents us. And it, it is very big, um, as you may be familiar with other hospitals, but in, in Florida itself, it's a very large part of our department. So just to give you an idea of where some of our residents match, we match extremely well um, year after year. This is an extensive list of places, highlights uh, HSS, the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. Uh, last year in this little orange box over here is the, all the programs that our fourth years went to last year. Uh, so, you know, we set, we set our residents up for success.
And then this is just a fun slide of kind of all the fun stuff we used to do pre-COVID <laughs> together. We really love to stress that we are a family um, here at Miami. We do a lot of group activities. We're always trying to find ways to kind of blow off some steam and, and really balance our life between, you know, working hard, getting what we need to get done, but also having a good time and kind of getting together. One of our highlights is our kickball league that we joined. Uh, we started real slow in last place, losing every single game. We didn't but win then, a single game. But then we're a playoff team because we made it to the playoffs and ended up in second place. So <laughs> lots of fun stuff. So this is just kind of a summary slide of, of I guess, the highlights that we really want to uh, uh, impart on you guys today. One-on-one uh, -on -one training with fellowship trained attendings and all the subspecialties um, our brand new state-of-the-art hospital for rehab, a diverse program of relatively large size, um, but with a very, very diverse population. And it's very resident driven, which I think is super important. A lot of what we come up with or a lot of the ideas we have are pushed forward uh, with our leadership because they really do value our experience and our opinions in the program. And then just a broad exposure uh, to pathology as well as procedural exposure. Um, so you really get to run the gamut of PMNR. So here's just our contact slide. Feel free to take down mine or Kwan's emails that are listed right there. Um, we are on social media, Instagram at UMiami underscore PMR, Twitter, the same handle. And we do have a podcast that's resident um, hosted the European MNR podcast, uh, one of our PGY4s, Armando Alvarez is the host. And we also want to plug a virtual Q&A that we'll be doing. We did them last year and we're going to be doing them again on those dates. If you follow our Instagram or Twitter, the link to sign up for those is going to be on our socials or feel free to send us an email uh, asking you know, to participate or letting us know that you want to be a part of it. We're pretty responsive and we'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> Perfect timing. You got like four minutes left. <laughs> Hi, I'm Prague, like the city from uh, uh, I'm Canadian IMG, and I uh, thank you for this presentation. Uh, I was just wondering uh, a couple things. Uh, first, how open do you, do you know uh, is your program to IMG? Since uh, I really can't see a residency list on, on your website, uh, and just in even if they didn't match, if you interview them. And then secondly, what's your favorite part of uh, the program? And what was like the biggest surprise, positive, negative, or whatever, other than, you know, being so, in So <laughs> the University of Miami, right? We're in South Florida, so we serve a very large international base. Uh, we have something called the Harrington Program, which students come in from South America to rotate with us. So we're very open to international medical students. Mm -hmm as well as uh, graduates, one of our residents from last year was international as well, I believe. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, we're very open to, to all kinds of residents from anywhere. Just shoot us an email, get involved, and we'll be happy to work with you guys. Um, what our favorite thing about the program, I always stress, um, aside from the academic stuff, because honestly, you know, you're gonna get your education, you're gonna get your um, learning, most places, uh, but I really think that what set U Miami apart for me was the the family uh, kind of feel that I had with all the residents. We really bond from day one. We're like here for each other, stay, back each other up. Um, so I think that that was the biggest draw for me from rotating here as a medical student I, when I did an away rotation that both Quan and I were here at the same time, which is a funny coincidence that we've had this whole journey together, I guess. <laughs> um, but really from then to now, it's always felt like a family. So Dylan asked a question, which I think would be perfect for Christy. What opportunities for exposures are there for pediatric rehab outside of the required rotation? Yes, okay, so I'm gonna be applying, or I am applying for pediatric rehab. So yay, glad to hear that there's interest. Uh, we just hired this last year, she's been here for a year already, a, uh, an attending in pediatric rehab. She was our previous chief resident a few years ago and completed her fellowship and obviously returned back to work. Um, so she has a brand new department that we've, or a brand new floor that we've uh, built up. 
And uh, there's a lot of opportunity in the community because we are attached to a peds hospital here at Jackson. So we have opportunity to rotate with some of those subspecialty peds as well, even outside of PMNR. Uh, so Kirk asked, do you get pain exposure as a PGY2? Yes, you do. And that was one of the perks of uh, the schedule that was designed in that we get early exposure to different specialties because as you start to progress throughout your training, pain specialty uh, fellowship, you have to consider applying uh, towards the middle of your PGY3 year. So you get a broad exposure very early on so you can establish that dynamic and connection with the attendings. You can get letter of recommendation as well as to see if that specialty is for you. Uh, we have Ashley from Jamaica. Any recommendations for IMGs that increase chances, chances of matching? And do you recommend specific specialties for PGY one year? Um, oh, okay, so in terms of increasing chances of matching, honestly, one of the biggest, I guess, uh, qualities that we look for is interest. Like how have you demonstrated your interest in the field? So show us that you're passionate you know, about rehab that mean that can mean doing research because you like research and that's your way of demonstrating your passion or show us that you know you're out in the community doing clinic involvement or anything you know however you can present that passion for for our specialty that's kind of the main the big thing we're looking for in terms of pgy one year i did an internal medicine uh i did too and i would recommend it I, yeah and i would recommend it just because our patients are historically pretty pretty a high level of pathology and can be pretty sick. So having that background or baseline internal medicine knowledge is helpful when you're on the floors. You training here as a PGY two year will definitely prepare you for practice um, as an inpatient rehabilitation. The pathology that we see is very diverse. We are one of the leading transplant um, hospital. We also see a lot of traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, because we are trauma. a major uh, level one trauma center in my- For the Caribbean and South America Yeah, we have well. a lot of uh, patients coming in from the Caribbean as well. Uh, importance on CS exam. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I don't recall ever, like that ever coming up strongly in, in our discussions with leadership during the uh, interview season. So I can't really tell, <laughs> but- I'm guessing not like super important, just, you know, study hard, do well. <laughs> awesome. Thank you both. Uh, excellent presentation. Um, I see that you put both your contact information on this slide, um, but you're also more than welcome to stay on and answer questions in the chat uh, for the rest of the night. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you.